Yeah, that was the worst and hardest day of my life. Um, we had just come out of the basement of the hospital because a warplane was flying above, so we were all advised, as we always do, to go to the lowest part of the hospitals in case they target it. So we'd just come out, and one by one, we were seeing um, these ghoulish-looking children walking in. You know that really infamous Vietnam photo of, of the girl um, coming, um, from the napalm bomb coming like this? They were all literally coming in one by one, clothes are hanging off them, covered in white powder dust, um, with the most heart-wrenching smell of burnt, singed flesh coming in. And I remember just looking, and I felt like I'd been moved or transported to a Hollywood horror show or a horror scene. Um, we would, it, was, it was at the time when the last big chemical weapons attack had happened in Damascus. It was five days afterwards. So we didn't know what was happening. We thought, is this a chemical weapons attack? So we started to treat them as if they were, until we got the intelligence that it was a big incendiary weapon, which is basically a big ball of fire that was dropped from the airplane onto a... Um, a schoolyard where 10 to 16-year-olds were waiting after school to be picked up by their children, by their parents. There's one boy who sticks in my mind, and and he's etched into my mind. He he walks in, and he is so burnt. He looks like a tree bark. I've never ever seen anything like it before and he'd lost all his hair, everything. He literally walked in solid, like so solid, he couldn't bend his arms. And I was so stunned. The only thing I could think to say was, how are you? <laughs> I didn't know what else to say. I'd never seen anything like that before. And he went, I'm okay, because he was all completely bent on the inside. And I remember knowing, you know, my, my mass casualty training, we know that these patients, there is just, they're going to die, like there, there's no hope in, 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 in trying to treat them. But I knew that the way he would die would be to suffocate. And that's why yesterday I was completely paralyzed because seeing the, those images and those kids suffocating to death was what I saw so, so, when so many of those children on that day. And I knew he was going to suffocate to death, so I did treat him so that he would slip away rather than kind of suffocate. And that's yeah. True. Ten of them, ten, ten died in our hospital and on the way to Turkey, and another ten just arrived charred and completely burned.